six. For some reason, when I go to the, yeah. The comedy of man starts like this. Our brains are way too big for our mother's hips, and so nature. She devised this alternative. We emerge half formed and hope whoever greets us on the other end is kind enough to fill us in. And babies, that's pretty much how it's been. Ever since, now the miracle of birth leaves a few issues to address, like say that half of us are periodically iron deficient. So somebody's gotta go kill something while I look after the kids. I do it myself, but what? You gonna get this thing? It's milk. He says as soon as he gets back from the hunt, we can swim. It's hard not to fall in love with something so helpless. Ladies, I hope we don't end up regretting. That's what I call pure comedy. Just wait until the part where they start to believe they're at the center of everything, and some all-powerful being endowed this horror show with meaning. Oh, their religion. They worship themselves, yet they're totally obsessed with risen zombies, celestial virgins, magic tricks, these unbelievable outfits, and they get terribly upset when you question their sacred texts. Written by a woman hating epileptics. Their language is just served to confuse them. Their confusion somehow makes them more sure. They build fortunes, poisoning them. Offspring and hand out prizes when someone patents a cure. Where did they find these goons? They elected to rule them. What makes these clowns they idolize so remarkable? These mammals are hell bent. On fashioning new gods, so they can go on being godless animals. Forever received, 
And how's this for irony? Their idea of being free is a prison of beliefs that they never ever have to leave. But the only thing that they request Is something to numb the pain with Until there's nothing human left Just random matter Suspended in the dark I hate to say it but each other's all we've got